I'm selling out. I'm really gonna do it. I'm gonna hop on the everyday carry train. Oh, everyday carry. Let's discuss what that is. E D C. Everyday carry. These are the things that you take with you every single day without fail. So I decided I would just make a quick, fun little video of the things that I actually carry with me every day without fail, just about all the time. So let's get right into it. So first up, these are my babies, the Beats. Fit Pro, I think that's what they're called. I used to have the Wireless Pro, the ones with the ear hooks, but when I traded in a car last year, I left them in the car. When I went to go get a replacement, I heard that these actually had better sound quality than the, the hooks, the Beat Wireless Pro Beats, or I don't even know the, the names, they confuse me. So somebody told me the Fit Pro actually had better sound quality. So I said, let me try them. And they do, they sound incredible. I mean, it's just an orgasm in your ear. I use them to work out. I use them at work if I'm on a phone call or just listening to music while I'm doing some office work. Everyday carry, item number one, the Beats Fit Pro. Next up, a knife that I carry with me. I recently started carrying a knife with me probably within the past two years. So this is the most recently added item to my everyday carry. And I don't know how I, did not carry one before because they're so useful. This one you can pick up for maybe 30 bucks. It is the Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops. It's nothing fancy, it's just a, it's just a simple pocket knife. Flick the blade out, it's got a little bit of serrated, then a flat and a point. I don't know the technical terms of it, but I really don't use it much for self-defense, although you could use it for self-defense. Usually it's to like open up boxes and stuff that I'm not manly enough to do with my own hands. You can get more expensive fancy ones, but I found that this one is pretty great. It's, uh, it's just a simple knife. Plus whenever you pop it open and you hear that little lock, It's so satisfying. Great little knife. The next thing I always carry is this little black journal or notebook. This is not a dedicated journal. It doesn't have a specific purpose. It's really just a general all use. I use it to jot ideas down. If I get a little shot of inspiration or something, I'll jot it down. If I get ideas for videos or whatever the case is, I jot it down. I'll sometimes structure, use it just to kind of structure out, layer out a YouTube video, something like that. It's really not dedicated for anything other than just me regurgitating things that float around in my weird, strange little mind, and I throw it down on here. So I bring it with me pretty much everywhere, just in case I need to jot something down real quick. I prefer to write rather than type things on my phone. A lot of people will say, well, why don't you just use the notes app on your phone or something? I prefer the old school writing it down physically, and I love having just a little notebook to where I can flip open. It's got a little page marker and you can just kind of, you know, flip open to any kind of different pages. It's nice, it's great, small, goes with me pretty much everywhere. I recommend you guys using something just to kind of help keep yourself mentally focused and on track. One thing I do do is in the mornings, I like to jot down things I wanna get done for the day. If it's three things, five things, whatever, I just jot them down and then I check in at the end of the day, did I get these done, did I not? Little black journal or black notebook. The next thing is my phone. I am an iPhone person. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's in this blue color, which is actually pretty cool, but after having the blue color, I've decided that I prefer all of my electronic devices to be black. Matte black is really cool. My wife swears by Android, she loves Androids. I've tried them before, not that big a fan. Great hardware, but I'm an iOS person. I use iMessage and FaceTime all the time. I'm team iPhone for sure. Okay, last but not least, my Glock. This is a Glock 19X. 
My other typical everyday carry is just a standard Glock 19, but this is a 19X. It's got a really cool finish on it. It's got the same slide as a, as a Glock 19, but it's got the grip of a Glock 17, so it's got a bigger grip. You can get more of a handle on it. And I just think the color and the finish is really freaking cool. I got the stream light uh, light on it with a laser that my brother got me for my birthday. I've started carrying this one recently, but I will also carry the, the Glock 19. Glocks are just awesome. I am a certified Glock fanboy you could say, I guess. But I just love them because they're so reliable and they're so simple. And when you're in a self-defense situation, if the tension's high, the stress is high, your emotions are high, your brain is racing, you're stressed, you're not thinking right, the simpler, the better. That way you can quickly take your firearm and you're not gonna jumble it, mess it up, accidentally do something you're not meaning to, whatever the case is. To me, simpler. Is just better and the Glocks are so simple and so reliable and so quality that that's why I carry them. Now let me end that with I am fully licensed, permitted everything to legally carry firearms. I've taken numerous classes. I would recommend and highly encourage you if you are going to carry a firearm for self-defense, please take instructional classes, beginner classes, take gun safety classes, learn the, the basics of gun safety and master them and become proficient with a firearm. I'm huge on gun safety. I'm not gonna get into politics. Some people hate guns, some people love guns. I choose to use them for my self-defense. I also happen to enjoy going to the, sh to the gun range to shoot. I also am, am very adamant that I, I want people to learn how to be safe, proficient, and very well-educated with them because they are a tool. They are a self-defense tool. It is not a toy. So if you do choose to carry firearms, just please learn the right way, learn good habits, be very, very careful, take safety super, super seriously as I do. I'm gonna quit ranting and I'm definitely not getting into the political side of things. Some people hate guns, some people love. Totally your choice. Yeah, I'm a Glock fanboy. So you might be thinking, hmm, cool stuff, but what do you carry it in? This is actually the newest backpack I've gotten. This is my non-photography backpack. This is my everyday backpack. This is a 511 Covert 18 2.0 maybe, and it's uh, in the brown and blue orange color scheme. When you're concealed carrying and you don't want people to be you know, suspicious of you or become a target, this backpack to me just does not look like, oh, it doesn't scream, that guy has a gun. Um, it's very discreet um, and it's got a lot of compartments. I can carry my firearms in them with me concealed and then it's got one big compartment where you can fit gym clothes or you know some work stuff uh, it's got a lot of space in it and it's really comfortable it's a little more expensive but 511 makes awesome backpacks well worth it it's high quality well built the back is real stable and sturdy i've bought cheap backpacks and i kind of regretted it so now when i buy backpacks i tend to invest a little more in them for the long haul because i believe in getting quality quality stuff so so that is my everyday carry stuff let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you carry something different this is my non-photography everyday carry let me know what you guys think in the comments below hit that subscribe button the like button stay tuned for more videos i'll catch you guys on the next one peace